What's going on today guys? In this video, we're gonna be testing out more of the Turtle Wax products I got, as you guys have seen in the last video. Uh, this time, it's going to be on the Genesis G70. Now, as you guys can see, this car is just completely covered in dirt. And uh, as you guys can see outside, I don't know, don't know if you guys can see that, but we did get a little bit of snow since I filmed the last video. So my car is well on its way to getting dirty as well. So um, plenty of time to test out these products with all these cars being dirty. So let's not waste any time and see which product we're gonna be testing out in today's video and uh, get to washing the car. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at which product we're gonna be using today. But first, we have to admire this amazing packaging. But anyways, we're going to be taking a look at the ceramic wash and wax. Now the point of the Hybrid Solutions ceramic wash and wax is to provide extra protection while you're going ahead and washing your car anyways. Of course, washing your car is a process that has to be done regardless of using any of the other extra protective uh, coatings or waxes or anything like that. So this product is just designed to add a little bit of that protection in while you're washing. This does have the SiO2 in it just like all the other Hybrid Solutions products. So you're going to get some of those hydrophobic benefits uh, which means increased water beading and increased protection as well as a nice high gloss finish. Now I want to be honest with you guys the G70 as you guys know does have a competitor's product and that is Mother CMX put on it. I did have a couple of layers put on the car um, just before winter time hit so it is fairly recently put on the car so it's not going to be a blank slate or free of all um, other chemicals or anything like that so this should have an advantage already being put on something that does a really good job um, of beating water and stuff like that. So this should enhance that even further. Let's go ahead and get washing the G70 with the wash and wax and see how it does. Now typically to wash cars, I'm a huge fan of Meguiar's Gold Class. The lubrication and the amount of uh, suds in that soap is just incredible. Um, it just provides a super slick surface for whatever you use to wash a car. Um, so hopefully this provides a good amount of it. I'm not expecting as much uh, soap and stuff like that in it, or a lubricity rather, um, based on what I've seen online. But let's go ahead and see how it does compared to the soap I'm normally used to. It does smell really good. It does have some of that fruity scent to it, but it uh, looks like it's a definitely a more liquidy version. It's not as thick as uh, Gold Class. Let's go ahead and get some on this bucket. Yeah, right off the bat, it's really watery compared to Gold Class, so I'm definitely not expecting as much suds from this soap. Let's go ahead and see how it does anyway. Alright, so as you guys can see, I just filled up the bucket and I'm actually a little bit surprised. Um, I might have used a little more than um, what's recommended, but I always like to go a little bit heavy, but it's actually not too bad. Um, let's go ahead and get washed in the car because I can see the suds kind of dying down already, but uh, it's not too, too bad so far. Yeah, I can already tell you guys right now that uh, there's not a lot of suds with this soap. It's unfortunate because I, uh, I'm i really a big fan of soaps with a lot of lubrication. And not necessarily two-in-one soaps either, just a nice good regular soap.
so I might have spoken a little bit too soon saying it's not that bad uh, as far as suds and stuff like that because um, as you guys can see this is me about uh, not even 10 minutes after I showed you that last clip and uh, it's pretty much gone I mean that's just pretty much some smelly water at this point but as you guys know, while I was washing my Elantra, the, the Gold Class soap was just super rich. and has a ton of lubricity to it, whereas this soap, uh, I, I didn't have very much after the first couple of minutes into the car wash. So it was pretty much like rubbing a sponge on the car with a very, very small amount of uh, lubricity. So uh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan at this point. So let's go ahead and see what the water beating is like at least, and uh, then we'll go from there. So here's a look at the water beating after uh, spraying down the car. I don't know if you guys can notice a difference or not. Honestly, I'm not sure I can other than maybe the windshield where there was really nothing on the windshield before. So this might have added just a hint of sheeting and beating to the windshield. Um, as for the lower doors, it looks pretty close to the same to me. No major change there. Um, this may have just boosted the overall uh, beating of the car, but um, definitely not a huge noticeable difference to me. So the question you guys probably all want to know is would I recommend this product? And I honestly have to say probably not and here's why. I'm a huge fan of just a normal high quality car wash soap that has a ton of suds, a ton of lubricity, just super thick and rich in your hands. And this product was just not that. I don't use wash and waxes really at all so I don't know how to compare this to any of the other products out there. However, I could see how somebody would like this as it's kind of like an all-in-one step. Somebody who doesn't really have a lot of time to wash and then go ahead and protect their car with another product on top of that. However, there is kind of like a solution within this lineup to do that. Um, say you use a normal car wash soap of your choice. Turtle Wax offers the wet wax uh, in this lineup so that kind of fulfills that two-in-one uh, property if you will since you're going to apply that while the car is still wet and then go ahead and dry it off from there. So I honestly don't know why this product exists in a lineup. You know, if they could market it in a way to where they advertise the wet wax in addition to a high quality car wash soap, you know, to me, that appeals to me better. Otherwise, you know, this is a two-in-one product. That's what it's meant to be. Um, that's why they have it out there. So I definitely understand why this product exists, but personally, I would just prefer a regular high quality car wash soap. Now I would like to try this on a car that has zero protection on it, the water just sticks to the paint uh, just to see how this would do on a case like that. Uh, but it's kind of hard to do when all the cars around here are just, you know, protected with something and they have some sort of water beating to them. So I can't really judge this 100% fairly, but as it is, as a car wash soap with very little suds and kind of little lubricity, I just would not prefer this and would rather use just a regular car wash soap. But with that being said, I do appreciate Turtle Wax sending these products out for me to test and review for you guys. I know they appreciate honest and truthful opinions of their products, so that's what I did. Uh, so that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys think of the Wash & Wax or any other Hybrid Solutions products. But anyways, as always, please like this video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel or uh, would like to check out any of the other videos on my channel. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh,